Hi there, Renee Assi of Lowell, Massachusetts. Just a few thoughts about female deacons. So my previous video, I was commenting with frustration about how traditional Catholics misuse a verse from the first book of Timothy about women needing to be silent, right? And that what they were doing was misapplying it within the laity. So I respect the priests assigned at my parish. I should respect all priests. I respect the bishop. I respect the deacons. And it is asked of us in this like complimentary type of relationship, right? Where the priests and the bishops and the deacons are the masculine and the laity is the feminine, right? Including the men. The men will respect the authority of the deacon, the priests, the bishops, and the Pope, which none of you seemingly do. You will, you will say the worst things about Pope Francis. And yet you're trying to pervert and use that verse from first book of Timothy to shut me up. You attempted to shame me to my husband. Like, do you have permission to speak on these matters from your husband? So I'm like, Stevie, can you come over and like talk to the camera for me? To let them know like about permission? You know like how like, it's like asking, do I have permission to wear pants? Do I wear permission to wear like a bathing suit of my choice? Because that's how sad traditional Catholicism has become in America where you were literally taking the place of the Pope yourselves, demanding as the laity some sort of authority over women. No, 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 no. The church has authority, the Pope, the bishop, the priests, the deacons, right? We are the laity as both men and women. You did not make a vow, an obligation. You do not have a vocation, a religious vocation, right? And being a bishop, a priest, or a deacon, right? And yet, you, man, so many of you will pervert that verse from the first book of Timothy. And I was talking to my husband about, like, family authority. And we were talking about my, um, both my parents are living, but I'm an only child, so it's sort of like, but my parents, I kind of respect my dad. I respect my dad. My dad loves me. I love my parents, right? Both my mom and my dad. But um, my husband has siblings and there's cousins on that side. And my father-in-law passed away and I have my mother-in-law. And she is the authority, you know? Like, especially when it comes to Christmas. Like, we're going to have Christmas. My mother-in-law says we have Christmas. Also my mom as well. But um, my parents are really flexible because it's just me and I don't have siblings. So... Anyway, I love you all.